everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to continue work on this uh, 1963 18 horsepower fast wind. Now we're not just going to continue. Hopefully we'll get it, we'll we'll finish it up. Uh, so stick around. Let's get these bolts out of here. We're going to get started on this thing. Okay guys, so I've been periodically coming out here and spraying these bolts down. Now, I don't think I'm going to have an issue getting these out of here because they broke off up here. So the head was stuck onto these bolts. So I'm thinking that's why they broke off up here and not down here. Usually if they're stuck in here, they'll break here. So I'm going to try to do first, you know, we may have to heat these up. I can't heat this up because it's aluminum. But I'm just going to try get old pair of vice grips first and see what happens. Now there's several, several different hundreds of different ways you can get get out broken bolts. But that's not what this video is about. If you guys want to see me make a video like that, then I will. But right now we this this video is just about getting these uh, getting this head put back on here these aren't the best vice scripts in the world but uh, let's see. yeah that one's that one will come out okay let's see about this one oh yeah that one's definitely gonna come out that's just just above finger tight so let's get this one loose <clears throat> great all right, let me get something else. All right, so I'm gonna try, tie, try, try to tap on the on this. Yeah, what it does is stretch them threads a little bit, and uh, break some of that loose. There we go. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. It's kind of boring just pulling these out. So I'm going to get these out, and we're going to clean the surface off, and we're going to talk about that while I'm cleaning it. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to scrape what I can off with this. I can see I'm getting some down in there, so I'm going to have to... I'm gonna put something inside there, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scrape this off the best I can with this scraper. Then I'm gonna use a brass bristled wire brush. Um, you can use a brass wire wheel. Do not use steel on these. Do not use a steel wire wheel on this. This is aluminum. Now, I'm telling you this because uh, I have done it and I've never had an issue. I, I just went real careful with it. But still, all it takes is one <coughs> cough or sneeze or, you know, somebody would walk by and accidentally bump the boat or whatever you're working on and you will cause big issues and it'll leak there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just use the scraper. And this you can also use sandpaper I use about 800 grit on it and use some WD-40 or penetrating 
some kind of penetrating oil and that'll clean up real good so that's what I'm going to do and then I'll show you how I know the head was bad okay guys so this piece of glass all right now we're going to take the old head we're going to set it on here can you see that moving that should not do that and okay, now let's check the new one nothing see it's not moving at all it's fine check this one and it's definitely warped I do know this thing was overheated at least once because the guy told me overheated it and had to get towed in so there's that now this head looks pretty good it is off of 1963 I am a little concerned about some pitting here a little bit but these only get these head bolts only get uh, torqued to 10 foot pounds so if I go to 11 that might work even better <laughs> these go to 11 all right guys so let me finish cleaning my surface up on the motor and uh, we'll get to getting ready to put that on okay guys now I know the lighting sucks I got a light pointing over here you can see it right there I got a light on up here because I'm in the shade because I am in Florida <laughs> I know it's October guys but I'm in Florida and it's 82 degrees right now so it would be hot out there in that Sun all right so make sure this is right it is right it says don't use sealer so you shouldn't have to seal this so this is kind of what I may be concerned about right there um, but as Terrell says it's not the space shuttle right so I did get some new bolts this guy on eBay for three of these wanted uh, 15 bucks <laughs> I made an offer of seven, he turned it down. I made an offer of 10. He turned it down and raised the price from 15 to 18. I picked these up, same damn bolt, at my local hardware store for 65 cents each. Same bolt, okay? So, yeah, these are just shorter bolts. Now I did run these bolts all the way in and back out you can use a tap if you have one I do have a tap and die set I didn't feel I needed it because they went in pretty decent now also what I've done what I've done was I ran a little little tiny screwdriver up in these holes now these ones are blocked off and the ones on that aren't blocked off except for two of them uh, they go way in now. I don't know if they go into water jacked or not. So I got it marked. There's one there There's one here and one down at the bottom. I am going to put a little bit of Sealer on them just in case it goes into water jacket because if it goes I've rebuilt a bunch of these two-stroke engines a bunch of outboard engines This one I've never done. I've never done one of these uh, uh, 18 horsepower fast winds let alone a 63 so I'm not sure which ones if any go into water jacket so on those ones I am just going to put a little bit of little bit of this sealer on just a whoa look at that coming out just a tiny bit and that's way too much so I'm just going to put a tiny bit just about like that on there I'm gonna put this one in here and I'll get another one just a tiny bit it, it'll go around there it doesn't take a lot especially cars be careful when you do cars 
like even uh, water pump bolts. I know on Ford there's a couple that go into a water jacket and they'll leak if you don't seal them. Okay. And I know there's one here. Now I don't know. I don't know if it's a water jacket, but I do know it's not a blind. You know, it's not a dead hole like this one up here. It dead ends there. You know, so but that one you can get push clear through. So I don't know if it's going into a water jacket or or what. So all right, I want to show you guys something. A lot of you guys may not know this. Uh, on these uh, these flat washers, if you look real close, there's kind of like a rounded over side and a flat side. A lot of guys don't know that. It's unreal how many guys do not know that. And it's, I mean, they're certified and, you know, they just, they never knew it. It's something not many people teach, I guess. So... Let me wipe this off and get a lid on it so it doesn't dry up in this heat. I think that happened because I actually had it sitting up here on the seat. Wasn't thinking. Because we're going to be using this again up here. Okay, so... I'm just going to put, put all these bolts in. And I'm going to run them up just kind of snug. Now, these call for... 10 foot pounds okay now those two bottom ones I won't be able to get my uh, get my uh, torque wrench on but they say you can use a claw foot but I don't like using a claw foot on a torque wrench so I'll just tighten them the way I see you know the way I feel it, you know it, it, they've only got to be 10 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start at 5 Go to seven and a half then go to ten and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start here or here whatever i'm going to start here go to that one back and forth see what i'm saying back and forth okay and then i'll get them all I'll show you that when i i'll show you when i get to my final tightening at 10 foot pounds and that way you see what i'm talking about okay now also i was reading Somebody was tightening theirs to 18, which seems like a lot to me because I rebuilt a 25 horse uh, Johnson one time and, and it was like 18 to 20 pounds. But anyway, that's, uh, I got this set on 10 pounds and I'm gonna do my final, there it clicked. There it clicked. I'm gonna go there, there. There, there. Did I do this one? There. 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 And this actually does fit down in here if I finagle it, so. There. Now I'm going to jump over to here. That one. Did I do this one? No. That one. That one. And that one. So there we go. We're good to go. I'm going to make sure they're all tight again in sequence and then we'll go ahead and put or uh, fix our gasket here for our thermostat. Okay, now, like I said, I already stuck this in. The heck was it? Make sure it fit. Okay. But when I did, that gasket got broke. Well, I guess I broke it. I guess you could say, but. Uh, I think they glued it on. They shouldn't have. No, and people's got to take this out and put a thermostat in it. So we're going to fix that right now. See, half of it. So I'm just going to do the half. You know what I mean? So 
because that's a pretty thick gasket. I don't think you can just run just this gasket maker stuff on it because I think it would be too big, too tight in there. So this is all I'm going to do. If it leaks a little, then I'll take it off and buy a new gasket. But like I said, this is not going to hold, be holding like 15 pounds of pressure, you know what I mean? So, go ahead and get this up here. Then, I'm going to put spark plugs in it and we're going to fire it up. And what we're going to do after you start these up, after you run a couple heat cycles through them, you know, so I'm going to start it up, let it get warm, then let it cool all the way down. And I'm going to check my torque. And then, once we get it out on the water and boat with it a couple times, you know, three, four times. I mean, it's real simple. It's right here. There's no reason not to do it. Um, once we run it a couple times, I will go ahead and check them again. A couple heat cycles is all it needs. So let's put this back up on here. Something don't look right there. Cause it's got a why is that blocked off? I come up through here and down into there. Just want to make sure it's not blocking it off. Okay, so now I'm just going to put these screws back in here. I'll throw the plugs in. That's pretty boring. And, um,. I'll get some water underneath it and we'll fire it up. How many of you guys noticed I didn't put that on there? Yeah, me too. Okay guys, another little rant. Went to put that bottom spark plug in there. Can you see anything wrong with that now that it's cleaned up? That's right. It's stripped. That hole is freaking stripped out. Look at that. God damn it. Well, I guess I gotta get a hold of these fuckers now. Well, anyway, guys, that's how you change a head gasket or a head on a 1963. Evan Rude, 18 horsepower fast win. Unfortunately, I can't start it for you. So, let me go get a hold of them. I'm going to send them some pictures. Boy, here lately, I've just been getting screwed all the way around. And people wonder, why, why, do, you do, why do you do rants? Because I want other people to be aware of this so it don't happen to them. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys.